Hey everyone, it's Chris from Old Guys Rip 2, and this is my review of the Never Summer Noku. A directional all mountain free ride and powder board, the limited edition top sheet, art on the Noku for 2024, has been created by Stanley Mouse. Never Summer teamed up with Grassroots California and Stanley Mouse, the infamous psychedelic concert poster and album artist, to create a one of a kind ultra limited edition artist series snowboard. The Noku will be offered again in the 24-25 lineup with a different top sheet and base artwork, but will otherwise be the same. Let's take a quick look at the profile and core of the Noku. The triple camber fusion profile features a third camber area flanked by two small rockers coupled with an early rise transition area in the nose. The result is a completely balanced ride, not found in any other profile. The Pow Surf Wood Core, a high percentage of lightweight polyana, is combined with poplar and birch running down the middle of the core and poplar along the side cut edge, adding strength and the optimum amount of torsional rigidity. The Pow Surf Wood Core strategically combines these woods in crucial areas of the core for a durable yet lightweight feel. I was really intrigued by the artwork and the unique shape of the Noku. With a blunted tip and tail and slight setback with some taper, I thought it would be amazing in powder, and I wondered what else it could do. It was still a little early in the season, as you can see, when I was able to ride the Noku. Storms were starting to come through, but I was mainly riding groomers in park. The top sheet is a co-extruded polymer top sheet that you'll find on most Never Summer snowboards. It's durable and has a matte finish. The Noku does have a very pronounced nose and tail, so you'll really feel them if you're trying to get up on the nose or the tail. It's soft, so you can really push into the nose or the tail if you want, and really feel the all-mountain freestyle elements of this board. Turn initiation on the Noku is solid. I could really lay into deep elbow carves, and with the triple camber fusion, you can still have a surfy feel, but dig those trenches you expect from Never Summer. I really enjoyed cutting up groomers on this board. Being that it's a directional board with a good amount of taper, you'll definitely feel it when you're riding Switch, and it rides Switch amazing, so don't think the Noku won't excel here. It does well. With Never Summer's centered base, you'll have a very fast and durable base. Only at the highest speeds did I notice a little bit of chatter in the tip and tail, but for a damp rating of 5, this board is fun to just point it straight and see what it'll do. Riding park on the Noku was a lot of fun. I may choose other boards when I'm just riding park, but the Noku proved it can handle rails and jumps with ease. This board is a blast. The soft nose and tail were great for presses, and it was very stable on the jump line. When I finally was able to get the Noku into some pow, I was elated. This is where I thought this board would shine the most, and it did. I set the stance back a bit and the soft tail just made it feel like butter. The nose pops up and cuts through everything. It's truly a breeze to ride. The Noku goes through pow really easily. It just eats it up. Be ready for some pow butters if the opportunity arises on the Noku. Who's this board for? If you're looking for a unique shape in a board and are a high intermediate to advanced rider, it's for you. It'll deliver smiles all day long. I found the Noku to be playful all over the mountain in most conditions you can put it in. Carve up groomers, catch some air, ride pow, and cruise anywhere on the Noku. If you're looking for a fun shape and a directional board, give the Noku a look. You won't be disappointed. Subscribe to our channel for the latest video reviews and check out oldguysrip2.com for more product reviews.